Hi everyone, this is Shivangi and welcome back to the Daydream Project Beauty. I have full makeup on except the lip color because the title says it all. Today I'm here to review NYB liquid lipsticks. I did receive numerous requests to review these lip colors in the past and that's why I decided to do this. NYB lip colors are available in purple and they are super affordable. In fact, I even did see a lip color which was just for 83 rupees. So that kind of intrigued me. I decided to give them a shot. I don't remember the exact price of these two liquid lip colors that I bought but they were definitely under 150 rupees. I'm letting you know in advance that this is not a swatch video, this is a review video. I never buy products in bulk unless I am sure of them. The reason I bought two of them and not just one is because in my personal experience in the same range, sometimes the formula can differ. This did happen with me with Maybelline Superstay liquid lipsticks. I felt that the newer range of shades that they launched had slightly better formula than the older ones. So to give NYB a fair chance, I bought two shades. One is slightly dark and one is light not too light but yeah lighter than the other one now without further ado let's jump into the review let's start with the packaging okay so this is their standard packaging of liquid lipsticks this is the box that they come in here they have got these stickers which have got the shade names and when you open the box, this is how they look like. Nothing too fancy, just simple and nice. I just realized that these two shades are looking almost identical on the camera, but they are not. One more thing guys, when I received the package, one liquid lipstick was completely wrapped in a transparent plastic sheet, but the other one was not. And I'm only hoping that they did not send me a used one or a piece which was returned to them. I'm only hoping. I know this is not a swatch video but I'm going to put it on regardless so let me show you the swatches of the two shades that I got. I can't find my lip balm right now so I'm just going to apply some Vaseline first. I do always apply a lip balm or Vaseline before I apply any liquid lipstick. I'm going to apply the darker shade first which is Samantha's Fantasy. Alright, now I'm going to apply the second one which is Red Carpet Beep. I've obviously removed the previous shade. I'm just applying some Vaseline again. It doesn't have one swipe pigmentation and it can become patchy. So these are the two shades that I got guys and yes this is the shade which I was wearing in my last Mama Earth video. A lot of you asked me about it but I had certain concerns that's why I didn't tell you what I was wearing and hopefully after watching this video you will be able to decide for yourself if you want to go for these liquid lipsticks or not. Now let's talk about the formula of these liquid lipsticks. When you're applying these liquid lipsticks, the formula will feel light but as soon as it dries up, it becomes slightly heavy. You can feel like there's something sitting on your lips and even if you do have a lip balm on, your lips will feel dry. Right now, my lips are feeling dry. The formula isn't the best and the most comfortable as compared to other liquid lipsticks. It's just about okay. Now let's talk about pigmentation. Pigmentation wise, the darker shade did perform way better than the lighter shade which I'm wearing right now. I had to struggle so much with this shade guys. The first time I applied it for the Mama Earth video, it took me almost 7-8 to eight minutes to actually cover my lips with this. It does not give one swipe pigmentation, it becomes patchy when you try to layer it up and it's just so difficult to apply is all I can say. The darker one is better than this. It still does not give you one swipe pigmentation but since this is a darker color, it's easier to apply than the lighter one. Now let's talk about one of the most important aspects staying power of these liquid lipsticks. So I really wanted these liquid lipsticks to work because they are so affordable 
but I did try both these liquid lipsticks on different days and stepped out and in my personal experience guys they start becoming a little crumbly after an hour they do start settling in the cracks of your lips making your lips look severely dehydrated and not smooth at all and layering them up is a huge problem when i tried to layer them up they had started becoming patchy and they were just feeling way too uncomfortable on the lips now i did apply this lip color in front of you guys it's been roughly 20 minutes let me zoom in and show you in 20 minutes what has happened to my lips okay so this is the closer look of my lips guys you can see that i struggled with applying this lip color it's still looking a little patchy this lipstick has started settling in the cracks of my lips and it's making my lips look dry they also do feel dry in just a matter of 20 minutes and this situation only gets worse over a period of time your lips really don't look smooth they look chapped and they look dry also though this is transfer proof i was talking about them becoming crumbly right so wait i'll show you it has already started becoming crumbly i did not even rigorously touch my lips with my fingers i did it very lightly guys and yeah this has already happened now going back to my lips see it did come off from here and here as well it's already crumbly guys it's already quite messed up so that's the story guys they don't stay on your lips beyond an hour they start becoming crumbly and they start fading off from the corners of your lips i will mention though when i did apply the darker colors my lips did not look as bad as they did when i applied the lighter color that is because the lines on your lips are more noticeable when you're wearing a lighter color with the darker one they are less noticeable however both these lip colors perform the same they both do crumble they both start fading from the corners of your lips and that's pretty much it to sum it up guys i don't really recommend them because they did not really work for me the colors are beautiful though that's the only plus about this range even this color even right now it's looking so beautiful on the camera at a distance but if you see me in person up close it's not a pretty sight and that brings us to the end of this video i really hope that you enjoyed watching it if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can do that too. I post a lot of makeup tutorials and makeup related content there. So if at all you like me, you can go ahead and give me a follow there. Also, if you do like this video, make sure that you leave it a like. And if you have not subscribed already, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of fun, awesome content coming up, which we would love to share with as many people as we can, guys. So we would really appreciate your support. Hit that red button and stay tuned. On that note, I'm going to sign off for now. I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.